So if you're familiar with the Nissan EV vehicles, you'll know that the Nissan LEAF has been around for a long time and Nissan has a strong history of electric success with the Nissan LEAF. Now they just recently added the Nissan Aria. So we have two offerings here from Nissan. A lot of similarities and a lot of differences to go over. More space, bigger stature, a little smaller of a vehicle, lower price. We have our Nissan LEAF. This one here is the SV Plus in Canada. It has an MSRP of $45,998. Now this Aria is the Aria Evolve. So this one has an MSRP of $60,598. So about a 15 grand swing. So I want you guys to comment which one you think. Is the Aria worth more? Is it worth that $15,000 extra? Comment your thoughts and let's get into breaking this down. Now there's a few differences under the hood of each vehicle. Here we have the Leaf. This one has the 60 kilowatt lithium ion battery. It's gonna give you about a 363 kilometer range, 214 horsepower coming out of this one. Now our Aria is gonna come with a 66 kilowatt lithium ion battery, and that's gonna give you 335 horsepower, and it's about a 340 kilometer range on the lower packages. You can go up to the higher packages and get more range if you want 463 kilometers of range, but then you're going up in price. So in terms of batteries, they do have very similar batteries. The difference is going to be we have a liquid cooled battery versus an air-cooled battery on the LEAF. Therefore, charging is gonna be much easier. This battery is not gonna get as hot. You can do the DC fast charge multiple times in a row and not have any effects on the battery. Well, with the LEAF being an air-cooled battery, if you're on long road trips, you're only gonna be able to use that DC fast charge maybe one, two times, and then it's gonna really delay the recharge of the battery because the battery's gonna get so hot. In terms of fit and finish on the Nissan LEAF, it's relatively unchanged over the years. Obviously, they've made a few redesigns and added some modern technology, but this is just kind of a small, sleek, styling hatchback. You do have that longer nose, and this one comes with a lot of the modern technology that Nissan offers, LED headlights. We have a forward camera here, nice flat here, no front grille on the electric cars, obviously. Um, and then you have our charging inputs right at the front here. When we go over the Aria, obviously being the newer vehicle, you can see the styling and the fit and finish is a lot more modern. Uh, I guess the word I would use is futuristic compared to the Leaf here. Um, and that's just the fact that it's been brand new. LED headlights as well, very similar front end here with our new Nissan logo. We have parking sensors as well, camera for parking, and then the difference here is our charging ports are on the side here to attach your charging ports. So little different styling, little shorter nose. They've kind of squished everything in the front and that just allows for more space at the back. Now, if you're one of those folks, it's all about them rims. Let's look at the rims on the Leaf. This one actually has rims. Um, it kind of reminds me like the comb I slick through my hair every morning. This one has 17 inch rims here. Uh, obviously you have your front and rear disc brakes. When you come over to the Aria, no rims. It's like a steel cover, but it is kind of sleek and stylish. I definitely like how they styled this steel cover. And you have a 19 inch rim on these Bridgestone all season tires. Here's the difference in the back seat if you have kids here. Obviously, the Aria is going to have more space here. Um, I love how there's no hump here. It's kind of a flat area right there for your passengers. This center console, you can also move up if you want. If you have three people sitting here, you can move this up and there'll be more space. Look at that. It just slides forward with the touch of a button. So if space is what you're looking for, obviously you're gonna spend the extra money for this. You know, um, the term is like the bigger the car, the bigger the price, and it's certainly a factor here. This is what you're gonna spend your extra money on is to get all the space. You can see when I jump into the Leaf, there's certainly much less space back here. Um, you have this huge center hump here because the battery is underneath here, and then I don't have as much leg room. So 
three people back here is not going to be a good feeling. Um, that's why you would go, I like the backseat of the Aria obviously better. Now when we compare the cargo spaces, obviously this is what you pay for back here. This one has 22 cubic feet of cargo space. You can see the size of the trunk, the back seats fold down with the 60-40 split and your storage devices are tucked away right underneath there. When you come into the Leaf, a bit more hatchback, manual lift gate there, it doesn't have the power lift gate. And you can see you do have a little deeper trunk, but not as much space. And they didn't really find a spot to put away your charging cables. The charging cables are kind of just in this bag here in the back, which also takes up a little space. So if you're all about that fit and finish, you're all about the styling, you like the newest and the, and the latest piece of technology, then I would say this Aria is the way to go over the two. You can see the fit and finish on this car is much better. It has a lot more uh, modernized styling and sleek look to it. Just look at the screen. You can tell right when you hop in, you have these two 12.3 inch displays here. So everything is just, when you get in this car, people like are like, wow, like this is a nice looking car. And that's kind of the difference of the two vehicles. Now, real quick guys, I just wanted to interrupt today's video to tell you about today's sponsor, carcover.com. You love your car, right? You want to protect it like it's your baby? Well, now you can protect your car from harsh weather conditions like snow, hail, sleet. You can protect it from bird droppings and dust and anything else that nature throws at you. You can protect your car from the elements using these snug fitted covers, all customizable, specific for your vehicle, and they come with a lifetime warranty. I asked carcover.com to send me a cover to cover my Nissan Rogue, and with fast and free shipping, the cover is easy to install and provides complete protection for your vehicle. Whether you're storing it in your garage or parking it outside, with a variety of options to choose from, from indoor to outdoor covers, custom fit covers, or even universal covers, check out the carcovers.com website to get the perfect cover for your car and your needs. There's even covers for your RV, golf cart, motorcycle, scooter, and ATV. So don't let unpredictable weather ruin your car. Support the channel, use the code CARSUNLOCK to get 20% off your order on top of any other sales that they have going on. Remember, free shipping to US and Canada. Support the channel, link is in the description. Protect your car at the same time. Let's get back to the video. The drive of the Aria is like phenomenal, guys. Um, definitely love the drive and the features. This one comes with the Pro Pilot Assist. It comes with the heads up display. It comes with the QI charger to charge your phone. Um, you have the E-Step pedal as well. So it's a little different E-Step pedal compared to the Leaf. Um, it's not too bad. I'm gonna turn it on here and, and put it to use because it does help save your battery life. Um, the Pro Pilot Assist helps you on long drives. Both cars have the Pro Pilot Assist. But overall, this is just a smoother handling ride. The comparison is going to be the space. It's going to be the sleek styling. If you're looking for space, comfort, styling, then this is the way to go. But it's hard to determine if that is worth an extra 15 grand. If you want something more practical, then the Leaf is the way to go, which we're gonna get on the road here in a second. Ride quality, like the ride quality on the Aria, is second to none like this is probably like one of my favorite nissans to drive now it's such a smooth ride you don't have a lot of road noise and like even here we're going on this kind of dirt road or bumpy road and it's still very smooth i haven't done like a, a full-on road trip with the aria yet to be honest where you know we've gone um like a thousand kilometers and had to charge it multiple times two or three times or taking the car for a whole weekend i haven't necessarily done that so i'd be I'd be curious to see how that is doing a long trip in these electric cars um, overall i think the drive is better on the aria for sure so the advantage of having these electric cars is if you get a ton of front end torque here and lots of horsepower. Uh, I'm gonna put both of them in sport mode and we're gonna compare how they accelerate. So um, Aria, we're in sport mode now and we're gonna take it for a little launch here and see how it, how it launches. We're just gonna wait for this car in front of us to get a little ahead. 
You guys ready? Three, two. Okay, not bad. And that's 100. So maybe we can put a timer up and compare the zero to 100s. But damn, look at 150. Holy, before you know it, you're going 160 in these things. And like, that's what I love about them. Let's compare that to the leaf. All right. So now we're behind the wheel of the leaf and you can already feel like we're already closer to each other. Obviously there's less space, even in the center, like my knee is, is up against the center stack right, right now. Um, this one, it, it doesn't have some of the features that the Aria has, like the power folding mirrors, the heads up display that I mentioned, the QI charger. It just doesn't have a lot of those features, the memory seats as well. Um, but it does drive nice. Like this is a, a nice smooth ride. Right now it's showing 428 kilometers to empty. Um, so we, you can't really complain with, um, with the range and like the practicality, like that's the biggest difference. This car is certainly more practical. Um, like we are ripping around these roads here and it is, takes the turns nice, really is kind of hugging the turds. Um, in terms of like the snow, this one's only gonna be front wheel drive. So if you guys do a lot of driving in the snow, then obviously maybe the Aria would be the way to go. But drive quality, I think this car is great. It's very, very quiet. Like I call it the stealth, stealth bomber because you can't hear it. You can't even hear it coming. The difference is just the technology and the features that you get in the Aria people might not want to live without. So let's compare the camera in the Aria here. You can see obviously this one, way nicer camera with the around view monitor. The sensors are going. It's just much more clear, higher quality. The camera on the leaf, you can see, isn't as high as quality. Um, it's probably not gonna even, probably looks worse through the lens of the camera here, but you can see the camera just is much better in the Aria. Um, this one, you still have like the forward cameras and everything, but just overall, the tech in the Aria is better. So guys, I'm torn with this here. Every time I do these comparisons, it's always so hard for me to make a decision at the end. Uh, me being Dutch, I don't like spending a high price tag on a car, so I would probably choose the Nissan Leaf. I could sacrifice a little bit of space to get that lower price tag. Feature-wise, feature-wise, they're very similar. This one has a bit more modern styling. I don't need the styling, but you guys tell me. If you have a family, this is probably the car for you. If you have pets, you want more space, you do those road trips, this is probably the better car. If you do a lot of city driving, you don't do a lot of long trips, then the Leaf would be for you and you can save yourself some money right out of the gate. As always, comment what you guys think is the one to buy. Hit that like button, thumbs up for the video if you guys learned something here today. And if you're new, just subscribe to the channel. Very easy to support your creator. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Have a great day.